For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Walls Outdoors with me, Mike. Telling you guys a bit of a review video, well, more of a pitching video to be fair, on a new product from Easy Camp. So with me today, I've got the Easy Camp Vehicle Flex Canopy. So what essentially this is, is it was almost just like a little bit of a sun canopy you can put onto your sort of vehicle um, just to kind of give you a bit more shelter so when you open open close the door. It's something, uh, to be fair, it's definitely kind of a nice kind of inexpensive option to look at. Gives you a bit more flexibility uh, and actually in Japan to probably other canopies, certainly from Easy Camp at least anyway, it's a little bit different in terms of its design. So it's not just a simple kind of straight out roof. Um, what we've got here is actually kind of a, a bit more of a, a sort of an art canopy or a bit of a dome canopy. So again, it's going to help to sort of bring the actual water flow away from one another. So from a pitching point of view, very easy to pitch. All we're going to essentially do is obviously open up the fabric itself. For the time being, I'm going to turn it upside down. And then you've got some fiberglass poles included with the actual part itself. So we'll open that up and we'll feed them kind of through. So what we've got here is actually kind of a 3000 mil uh, hydrostatic head. It's around about kind of a, a 68, 70 denier material. So it's designed to be kind of lightweight, um, but fairly kind of inexpensive to a certain degree. We've got vertical poles, which are the steels. And then we've got, like I said, a kind of a crossover fiberglass uh, sort of dome section. So what you can do with this is just simply open the fiberglass up. Now for me, I think this is better doing it kind of on the floor before attaching it to the vehicle. Reason being is that you're in more control of them, of the poles itself. You're a little bit further away from the actual, um, well, the vehicle as well. So you haven't got to worry about poles going anywhere they essentially shouldn't. And then from there also means you can kind of get a little bit more play into it. So opposite ends of the kind of material, there's a lot like of reinforced uh, little pockets that you best, it's got a fiberglass pole just simply size into. We'll put the dog on the old part itself. So all we we'll simply do again is just very neat, nice and easily feed that directly in to there. Go on to the other side of it. Extend the pole. And then pop that again on the inside. So what we're here, we can see, we we'll give it a bit more flex. With this, what you can almost do is kind of bring it kind of outwards a bit rather than directly down. That's going to help you get it in the middle. And then from here, by very carefully kind of crawling onto it, we can kind of push those directly into the middle and just tie the middle up initially. Probably can't see what I'm doing because of the arc. So just kind of create a little bow in there. At this point here, we can see it's kind of arced. Now from here, I find it to be a lot easier to feed that directly onto the rail system. There are actually guide points attached to it as well. So you can fry guys over the top of the van, or there's also some Velcro. So again, you can Velcro on to say like a roof bar system. But for the time being, what I'm gonna do is just gonna feed it directly into the rail. You wanna be careful it's not a bit of a kite that you don't necessarily carry, um, catch, it, catch it and suddenly go flying. But for me, I think it's gonna be a bit easier to just feed it in. Just elevating it a little bit just means it's not going to drag. Again, if you've got a second pair of hands, it might make life a little bit easier in terms of getting it lovely and sort of fed in. So now we've kind of fed it in, we can position it where we need to on the actual part itself. So that is quite nice and neatly and directly down. The guide points are not a bad idea if you want to throw over the top again. And what it also would do if you sort of tension it out or outwards, it's going to stop that sliding around in the rail too much. From this position here, if we get our kind of upright poles, we can kind of bring that canopy directly up. There's essentially this eyelet in the corner here. So we can kind of just gradually put that spike through, put that down initially. So, and then what we've got here also is kind of uh, adjustable legs. So we can again, get it to kind of the height that we want to. Go about there, it'll be fine. That sort of head height. 
That's dead straight now. Do the same with this side. So as you can see, it's very simplistic in its turn, in its turn where it is. Have it nice and even. And then from there, the last thing you kind of want to do is either you can either kind of relocate the guy ropes and put them kind of almost on the front and angle that down. Just to give a bit more support. The ties itself you can tie on underneath. Again, it's probably a little bit easier doing a bit lower, but for me, headroom's not too too bad. I can reach the top ones even there. And again, it's just tying that kind of uh, fiberglass pole frame to the actual uh, part of the awning. So it's kind of keeping that nice and tight. It's got to follow that kind of seam line. But very, like I said, easy to do. It doesn't take a whole lot of time and effort. I mean, you've got a little bit of kind of canopy space one thing I do quite like is because it's kind of art, you can still kind of easily open the door and you've got a little bit, like I said, the rain can actually naturally run off either way you want it to. I would also recommend kind of the additional guy lines to kind of bring it over the pole, which can sit over the pole directly and then kind of guy it down. It's definitely more of kind of a sort of fair weather canopy, but from a sort of structural point of view, it's actually not too bad. But that kind of gives you a bit more idea about how simple, easy uh, to pitch the kind of the flex canopy in. For more information, by all means, check the link below this video. It'll take you straight through to our website. We've got more information on sort of things like pack sizes, overall size. So it's actually, I believe, it's two and a half by two and a half uh, meters. So the joys of that is it's sort of enough space to kind of cover that sliding door all the way back as it goes. Um, and again, we've got things about sort of the overall height adjustment. So you can actually do anything from 180 up to, I think, 240. There's no reason you couldn't really use this on a caravan. Again, I'd probably go about it in a slightly different method just because getting it around the arc of the rail is a little bit trickier but still it's an option you can always look at as well. Like I said for more information follow the link below this video it'll take you straight through to our website where we have all the information there and features at a touch of a button but that's our little kind of pitching slash review video on the new EasyCamp Flex Canopy.